Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Canada Post Shipping Plugin. And now this particular plugin will allow the Magento 2 based web store admin in Canada to provide the Canada Post Shipping service for shipping the products to their customers. The customers in turn will be able to choose the shipping method at the time of checkout or within the cart for receiving their products via the Canada Post Shipping service itself and the shipping method can be used to receive the shipments within Canada and from Canada to other countries as well. The shipping method also uh, displays the estimated delivery time and is shown for the Canada, United States and some international addresses there. And the shipping rates are calculated according to the admin's origin zip code, product weight and the buyer's destination zip code. Kindly note that if the product weight is equivalent to zero, then the shipping method will not work and would not be visible to the customers at the checkout page. So right now you can see that I'm at the checkout time uh, time or the checkout page right now. And I've added one candle stand product into the cart and I've selected my shipping address as uh, Barry Down Road, Sandbury, Ontario, Canada. And under the shipping methods, you can see that I have the different Canada Post shipping uh, uh, services uh, available for receiving this particular parcel there so I can choose from any one of the shipping methods there to get the parcels delivered at my doorstep as a customer now before we proceed further with the workflow word there kindly do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so first of all i'll be showing you the customer uh, storefront workflow then we'll be checking out the plugins initial configuration then we'll see how to set the origin address of the store set the allowed currencies and how to input the currency rates as well so let's uh, proceed further and let's uh, check the uh, workflow at the customer's end so i've added the product into the cart um, at the checkout page and i'll be choosing my shipping method as uh, the regular parcel that is having the estimated delivery time on the 8th of uh, august uh, on the 10th of august basically and uh, i can choose uh, any of the address that is an international address for example if i choose a us address then we'll be able to see the uh, canada post uh, services uh, that provide the international shipping there so here we have the expedite parcel usa having the estimated delivery date as uh, the 10th of august there so we can choose anyone be it uh, within the canada or outside the canada as well so for the time being let's choose uh, the canada itself and uh, let's choose uh, this one that's for 24 dollars and 79 cents there and then i'll be choosing my payment method and i'll be accepting the terms and conditions here here's the total for 569 dollars and 79 cents that's uh, uh, uh including the shipping so here the customers can see their selected shipping that's the canada post shipping the shipping uh, there and the method is the regular parcel with the estimated delivery date there now let's tap here on the place order button to place the order so uh, we'll see that the order would be paid in a few seconds there and we'll see a success message as well so here's the order number 187 that we have just placed as a customer now uh, let's check the details of the order here here's the product that's the candle stand here's the uh, shipping amount that's for 24 dollars and 79 cents altogether and here's the shipping method that the customer chose that was the with the shipping title that is the canada post shipping and the method name is regular parcel uh, and the estimated delivery uh, date is there that's the 10th of august 2021 so that's how the customers can place uh, an order very easily uh, within your store there and can select the uh, Canada Post shipping to receive their shipments at their home steps. Now after this now let's uh, hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to do the plugin initial configuration settings. So for that let me take you to the admin backend panel now. So here I'm at the back end of the Magento 2 platform based web store and here I'll be entering my username password and tapping on the sign in button. Now after the successful login to make the initial configuration settings for the Magento 2 uh, Canada Post shipping, the admin will navigate uh, through stores and then configuration. 
Now on the configuration page, we'll have to scroll down to sales. Under sales, we'll navigate to uh, shipping methods. So I'll just tap here on the shipping methods uh, sub menu option there. And that will bring up the complete listing of the shipping methods there. And here we have the Canada Post shipping. So I'll just tap on that and that would bring up the complete configuration se uh, settings for the uh, Canada Post shipping for the Magento 2 platform based web stores. Now let's go through each of these uh, options one by one. So the very first option that we have here is to enable the Canada Post shipping for the checkout. So if you want to enable it for the checkout, you'll have to choose this option as a yes. Otherwise to disable it for the checkout, you'll have to choose a no option. Then we have the option to select uh, the mode of the uh, plugin, whether it should be in the sandbox or the testing mode. For that, you'll have to choose a yes. Otherwise, if you want to make use it in the uh, production mode or the live mode, then you have to choose it as a no. And according to that, you'll have to then enter your uh, details like your API user ID, API password, your agreement type and the client number as well. To know more about how to get the API user ID and the API password, you can check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular uh, video. And within the user guide, just go to the uh, section that's the how to get the po uh, Canada Post credentials. And there we have shown how to get the API key, the API password, the customer number, and how to get the uh, contract and the agreement number, if any. So let's uh, come back to the uh, configuration settings. After that, we have the title. Now this title is visible to the customers at the you know, checkout time and within the uh, cart itself when they are uh, calculating the shipping there. So you can set this uh, up as per your own requirement there. And this is a customizable uh, title and is visible to the customers at the checkout time. Then after uh, you have registered uh, with the uh, Canada Post shipping, you'll get your API user ID and the API password. And that needs to be entered here then you'll have to choose your agreement type with the uh, Canada Post whether it's a contract type or a non-contract type so if it's a contract type then you'll have to enter your agreement number uh, and if it's a non-contract number then you'll have to just enter your client number uh, that you'll get uh, there uh, from the Canada Post shipping itself so just check the uh, user guide there so after you've just created your account uh, there at the Canada Post shipping uh, you have uh, entered your profile information, your profile type, contact information. Uh, after setting up these details there, uh, you will be able to find your customer number at the confirmation page on the Canada Post uh, section where you're going to create your profile. There you'll get the uh, uh, customer number there. And after that, uh, you have to integrate uh, your uh, with the uh, Canada Post API. So you'll have to navigate to business, e-commerce, and then integrate with APIs. There you'll have to go to the developer program, and there you'll have to join. After joining, you'll have to agree to the terms and conditions, and finally, you'll get your development and the uh, production uh, keys there. So you'll have your API username and the password, and that needs to be entered here, as uh, we have already talked about, and the client number, as well then we have the delivery time offset so uh, basically the delivery time offset gives a random increment in the delivery time so uh, you can set it according to your own requirement there uh, then you have the option to show the estimated delivery time if you want to display the estimated delivery time on the checkout page or within the cart as well then you can choose this particular option as a yes otherwise to disable the show estimated delivery time, you'll have to choose a no for this particular option. Uh, then uh, you can set the group name as well if you want. And uh, then we have the rate type, whether it's a commercial one or a counter one. Uh, if it's a counter one, then the particular rate type would be applicable. Otherwise, if it's a commercial one, the different rate types would be applicable to the shipments there. Then you have to enter the weight unit in kilograms or pounds as required. Uh, you can also choose the size as regular or specific. If it's a specific one, you have to enter the height, length and the width for your uh, parcel there. So you can choose a regular one. Then from the available uh, methods, you can choose the methods that should be available to the customers at the checkout time. So you can select the ones that should uh, be enabled. So these would be the allowed methods for the Canada Post shipping. 
then we have the option to ship to applicable countries whether you want to allow it to uh, for example uh, your store is in Canada and you want that uh, the shipment should be within Canada as well as to the international countries there then what you need to do is you need to choose ship to applicable countries as all allowed countries otherwise if you want uh, to ship it to specific countries only then you can choose those specific countries uh, as required there uh, then you have the display error message so this error message would be displayed uh, if the show method if not applicable is uh, selected as a yes so if show method is a uh, method if not applicable is selected as yes then uh, the display message would be displayed that means if it's not available the shipping method is not available then this particular message would be displayed there you can also set up the uh, calculation of the handling fee as fixed or in percentage uh, according to the chosen handling fee type you can set the handling fee as well and you can also choose to uh, set the debug mode for the plugin there as yes or no to log the details there thereafter just tap here in the save configuration button to save the configuration settings for your Magento to Canada post shipping there now let's see how we can set up the origin address of the store and to set the origin address we'll go to uh, the same uh, section under the configuration that's uh, under the sales under the sales we'll go to the shipping settings here on the shipping settings you'll be able to set up your uh, what we say as the uh, uh, you'll be able to set your origin address for the store so just tap on the origin and enter your origin for the Canada itself you can choose your country your region state your zip code your city your street address and the street address line 2 as well and uh, you can also set the shipping policy parameters if uh, you want and you can set it as yes and you can set up your shipping policy as well if you want and uh, that's how you can uh, navigate to stores configuration then sales and the sales you have to go to the shipping settings and there you'll be able to set up your uh, origin address for your store now let's see how the admin would be able to uh, manage the order so for that uh, we'll just navigate uh, to sales and then orders so the order number was 187 let's go back and we'll find our order number 187 here here's the order number so we'll see how the admin would be able to generate the shipping label for the canada post shipping so for that uh, we'll just uh, open this particular order after opening up the order here uh, if i scroll down here's the uh, Canada address billing and the shipping address of the customer and here's the shipping and the handling information that shows the Canada post shipping the shipping title and the shipping method is regular parcel and the estimated delivery date is uh, 10th of August along with the amount that's for $24.79 now after you've generated the invoice for this you can tap on the ship to generate the shipment so you'll have to tap here to generate a new shipment so we are on the new shipment page here you'll have to scroll down and here you'll have to check this option that's create shipping label then you have to tap here on the submit shipment after that you have to add the products to the package by tapping here on the add products to package uh, that will bring up the product name select that product and enter the length width and the height of the package there and uh, and then tap here on the add selected products to our uh, package and then tap here on the save button at the top and you can see that the shipment has been created and uh, now if i scroll down uh, to the section that's the shipments uh, from here we can tap on the view link under the actions column to view the shipment uh, uh, section and from there we will be able to print the uh, shipping label as well so here i'll just scroll down and here you can see the shipping the tracking information here's the shipping title the shipping method name and here you can see the uh, uh, what you see as the tracking number has also been generated for the carrier that's the canada post shipping and the shipping title is canada post shipping if i want to uh, generate the uh, or print the shipping label i can tap here on the print shipping label and this print shipping label would uh, download the shipping label let's open the uh, shipping label now the same address would be there that we had here for the customer 
and the shipping address would be visible there Ontario Canada uh, let's go back so here you can see that uh, it's the same shipping address visible here as well on this particular uh, shipping label and uh, here's the two values and here's from uh, value from and the two values on the shipping label itself so that's how easily the uh, admin can manage the uh, uh, the uh, what we say as the order there and can generate the shipping label uh, using the Magento 2 Canada Post shipping plugin itself from the admin backend under the orders section there. So uh, that was much about the plugin itself and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com. You can raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.